Go to the layer menu in Infinity Photo and New Layer. Then go to the Gradient tool and add a quick gradient. Now I'm just going from white to black. Unfortunately, that always seems to be the default most of the time. Well, once you've got that, you can also fade it. So you can go to Layer and Fade. Of course, if there was something underlined, would be very useful. What you can do, just fade. You can just go backwards and forwards, maybe very subtle gradient. And also you've got blend modes as well. Of course, there's nothing else there, so click apply. But you can do it again. Just go over there, apply a gradient again. Unfortunately, again, it's white to black. It would be nice if you could keep it with something else than that. However, a layer and fade create fill. Just move that, change that, fade it between that. And also you've got blend modes to so go, say, for difference. And you can see the result there. And depending, obviously, how you've created your grain, you'll get a different result. So again, click that. Also, you can always go for elliptical, say, and apply the effect there. So just apply that, move that around. Again, go to Layer and Fade Move Fill. Now, you can see what's happening now. It does what the last thing. See, but it does mean that even though you can't get access to the previous, obviously, gradient, you can still fade in between the two. You can see now you've got that white there and the white there. So it does give an opportunity for lots of different sort of gradient design. So let's just quickly do something else. So apply gradient and you can go to swatches. And you've probably got a selection of gradients. Obviously it will vary depending on your system. And you can move that around. You can apply it, change it, go for say elliptical again. And you can move it. So now we can go over here to layer and you can see here fade move fill. So it's the move that is actually used in the fade. So you can see now, again, do exactly the same. You can fade and combine between two, put it 50%. You can see obviously you've got those and you've also got, again, blend mode. So you go for difference and you can create some interesting effects simply just by using the fade. And also, of course, you can apply a gradient again. Again, default is always white and black. In most cases, it does seem to vary occasionally. But again, you can go to Layer and Fade Create Fill. And this time, of course, you've got something underlined. So you can see then between the fade, you can just change that, go there and gain difference or maybe soft light, overlay and so on. Color Dodge, Lighten and many others. So you can create a great number of different designs simply by using the fade. And you can also fade the fade as well. So fade between those and create maybe some more interesting designs as well. Click apply. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.